Welcome to the first apparel review by Dave Sam. Today we are taking a look at one of my favorite three season jackets, the Airloft hooded jacket from Western Rise. Let's jump into it. My name is Dave Sam and I regularly share my obsession with bags with you. Today I'm changing it up a little bit and finally getting into an apparel review. So if you're watching this, welcome. You're here for the first apparel review. Thanks for supporting the channel. Uh, maybe drop down, you know, give me a like or a subscribe if you uh, think this content ends up being helpful. Thanks. Now, if you haven't heard of Western Rise and you have watched my channel before, that means you've probably never watched a Chase Reeves review, which would actually be really weird for my community in particular. Western Rise describes their story as founded with an adventurous spirit with one lofty goal, one set of performance clothing that works for anything your day may bring. They focus primarily on men's clothes that are meant to be simple, versatile, and in that kind of timeless or classic style that you could wear basically any time, shouldn't go out of fashion. We'll see. I can personally speak to the quality of Western Rise clothing. This is not the only jacket I have from them. I've got a couple of their hats, a few of their pants, some socks. All of it is fantastic. Pretty much every single thing that I own from them I would say it's probably at least in my top five for that category of item. And the reason I wanted to share the Airloft hooded jacket is because it basically just became available on their website again, maybe two or three weeks ago. I just got this green one actually. I have another one, a gray one, that I got during their Kickstarter campaign, which was awesome. I got it last fall or something like that. So I've had it for a while uh, and I have a lot of thoughts on it. Let's jump into the review. If you're familiar with the Dave Sam review, we always start with the outside of the bag. We're not doing a bag review today, are we? We are doing an apparel review. Let's start with the materials and fit today. I think that that's gonna be a little bit better for this review. So let's start out with the materials and fit. First and foremost, the Airloft hooded jacket is super soft to the touch, really comfortable. Provides a nice kind of slimmer figure on the body, which I do like. It's on the fitted side, if you will. I'm about six foot, 200-ish pounds, maybe a little bit less. And I am wearing the medium right now. I have both in medium. I would say that arms, chest, everything fits really nice. I have a little, little bit of a gut, just a tiny bit. Uh, and it is a little bit tighter in the gut, but I don't mind that. It's actually a little snug and I like it a little bit more snug. So uh, fits really, really well overall. The jacket also comes in three staple colors, this green, uh, straight up, you know, true black, and then this bluish gray, which I would say trends a little more gray than blue overall. All three are meant to be, again, staples in your wardrobe, something that you could wear hopefully kind of in any environment, take out if you need to. And then if you don't need to, we'll see what you can do with it to start away. The exterior fabric that you see here is a self-cleaning four-way stretch with a DWR finish, and it's a PrimaFlex technology. The Airloft technology is actually one layer deeper, but this exterior layer here is the one that's going to provide the dirt, weather, stain resistance. So water, especially if you're not caught in like a downpour, if you're caught in like a drizzle of some kind, is basically just gonna beat up and fall off. Now, I will say, don't get oil on this. If you're eating something greasy, if you are in a place where there's oil potentially flying around, like in the back in a kitchen or something like that, which honestly, this would be real warm if you're in the back in the kitchen, you are gonna get a little oil stain like this. Sorry, Western Rise. I really didn't want it to happen. And that will remove any of the finish that's on there. So really try to keep it away from oil if you do get it. And just underneath this layer is the insulation layer. And this is where you get that namesake Airloft technology. And that Airloft technology is actually from a company named Torre. They describe the material as, and I'm gonna read this, it's a 40G 3DE FX plus hollow core four-way stretch insulation. I don't know what any of that means, but it seems really technical. And I can vouch for how warm it is as far as the insulation layer goes. I would say that you could wear this jacket anywhere in the like 40 to 70 degree range. It's got about that 30 degree range. So it can hit you for three seasons, depending on where you live again, and uh, a few other factors. And last but not least, and you can see a little bit of it here, but you've got the interior fabric, which is, 
all black on all of the jackets, but uh, this interior fabric here is just 100% polyester. So adds a little bit of stretch, adds a little bit more to the warmth. The main zipper is a double-sided YKK plastic zipper. Just on the inside of that, you see this lip here, and this lip adds that extra, basically, wind resistance. So nothing's getting through that zipper, and if anything is, it's being blocked by this lip. The lip actually wraps all the way around the top here, creating this kind of zipper garage. So if there isn't any additional moisture or uh, weather, you know, wind coming through, it does get additionally blocked at the top here. And like I mentioned, I'm about six feet tall, 200 pounds. And when the zipper is done all the way up, it runs from just about my chin or just under my chin to just below my waistline. My belt is literally right underneath us. Each zipper on the main zipper here has a metal pull tab, as well as this kind of paracord uh, zipper pull that has a rubberized finish for the knot. So you never have to feel the knot or even worry about the knot really coming on done. Now the hood, and it's hard to put the hood up when the zipper is all the way done up, fits up against your face here. Really nice coverage of your face and head, basically just a cutout for your face. Has a little lip at the top here, again, just for that additional really drizzle coverage if necessary, but I would still say, you know, wear a hat under here or something if you do want to provide a little more drizzle coverage. And just on the inside of basically your lip here are the adjustment straps for the hood. So if you do want to cinch it down, you can pull here. And then on the inside of the fabric is the actual clamp. So if you want to loosen it, you just got to press on this clamp here and then loosen it like you would any other hood. This cinch down is not the only place that there's a cinch down for that additional weather resistance. On the waistline on this side, there is a cinch down. So you can cinch it real tight to your waist, adding especially that wind resistance, which has been helpful. You guys who watch the channel know I ride the one wheel around a lot does create a lot of wind. This is one of my favorite jackets to make sure that I stay warm when I'm riding that thing around. And lastly for the fit is the cuff sitting around the wrist here, which is beautifully done. Cuffs inside on the wrist and also has this kind of elastic on the cuff. So depending on how big your wrist is, really gonna sit nicely. I have actually pretty thin wrists, I would say and it fits almost perfectly around there. I also have a fairly large wingspan. I'm only six feet tall, but I have about a six foot three, six foot four wingspan. And as you can see, I've got great coverage from wrist to wrist. So I'd actually even say the sleeves might run a little big for you if you don't have a pretty long wingspan. <laughs> Let's jump into one of my favorite features of wearing a jacket, and this, of course, is a carry channel overall. So, the pockets. What can we carry when we are actually wearing the Airloft hooded jacket? There are four pockets on the Airloft hooded jacket, and we're gonna get into each of them. Starting with the easy ones, we've got two identical hand pockets right on the side of the jacket. If you've worn probably literally any jacket in your life, you're familiar with this kind of pocket. Uh, plenty of space in here, runs about from here to the bottom waist strap of the jacket and then all the way through. The nice thing about these zippers is that they are a reverse coil zipper. So when you do zip them up, you actually don't see, you see the seam there, but that is actually the zipper underneath. There's the zipper pull, again, has that rubberized tip or rubberized finish on the zipper pull, which just makes these super easy to use. Now, these are a smaller metal zip, which actually never has stuck for me. So overall, it's been good to use, but I rarely zip these side pockets up. On the inside left breast, there is a hidden pocket that has an extremely tiny zipper pull. And I'll be honest, honestly, the first maybe three or four months that I had this jacket, I had no idea that this pocket existed. I never used it, never even thought to look until I went back to the website and I actually saw that they did have a breast pocket there. And then I was like, oh, I should use this. Uh, that being said, I do never use this. It fits about, this is an iPhone 13 uh, Max 
fits pretty easily in there. Fit a much bigger phone, I would say, overall, if you need to fit something in here. It's meant to be a phone pocket, maybe something that you wanted to keep more secure, like a wallet if you're traveling or a passport. Now, the last pocket to show is actually a pocket that sits at the small of the back and has entrance from the right side, so with your right hand overall and it is a huge pocket it basically spans i would say about half your back you could easily fit an ipad pro in there i have an ipad an older ipad pro the one that's like 10.9 inches or something like that fits in there with the keyboard no problem the other nice thing about this pocket that i love about this jacket in particular and this is what i mentioned earlier is that when you don't need the jacket anymore let's say you go out and it's chilly in the morning and then the afternoon it's on the warm side you've got this pocket that doubles as a stowaway pocket, which if you flatten it out a little bit, also really is nice as doubling as a pillow. So if you're traveling, you can afford the warmth. Maybe the plane isn't freezing cold for once, which is pretty rare. You can go ahead, take a little rest on this. Also has a nice hook on the inside. So if you do want to attach a carabiner to it, you can't fit it inside your bag. You could easily carry it on the side of your bag as long as you've got like a carabiner or something. All right, finally for something that is the same as the bag review, let's get on to the brass tacks and the recommendation, which is my favorite part of the review. The Airloft hooded jacket, or the Airloft 2.0, they called it a couple of names, will run you about $258 on the website. That is a premium price tag. There is no question about it. I do have a link below. If you wanna to go to that link, you can get $20 off your first order. So if you are interested, use that link, at least get 20 bucks off, you'll pay to 38, which is still a premium price tag. That being said, it is a fantastic jacket overall. It has tons of great features, can be worn over three seasons, has a lifetime or is backed by a lifetime guarantee. So zipper fails, it starts to shred in any way, you can go back to Western Rise. They have fantastic customer service. They'll either help you repair it or they will get you something new at probably no charge to you. If I had to guess, they do fantastic customer service, but you know, again, hopefully you won't have to even run into that because as far as I can tell, this thing is really good. I've had the other one for probably just over a year now. I got it last fall and I have put that thing through the ringer. I've only had this one for a couple of weeks. That one looks just as new as this one. And like I said, it is expensive, but hands down, these are my favorite jackets to wear when it's not the winter in Chicago, of course. Uh, overall, 10 out of 10 would recommend for just about anybody who's looking for that three season jacket that you can pack away in particular, super lightweight. It meets so many requirements, even at 258, I would say it is a high value jacket start to finish. The only person that I would say maybe don't buy this jacket is if you honestly can't afford it. I mean, 258 is definitely a premium price tag. It's not for everybody. That's it for the Airloft hooded jacket. Let me know what you think in the comments below of the jacket, of my style, first apparel review, anything that you've got, uh, I'd love to hear it. If you've got any questions or anything like that, also drop them in there. And while you're down there, drop that like, hit the subscribe button, get notified, tell the algorithm that you like my videos because I need it. Thanks for watching the first apparel review by Dave Sam. There will definitely be more apparel reviews on this channel. I've got some boots, some jackets, some hats, other things on deck, maybe even some wallets, and other things like that. Uh, and I can tell you for 100% sure that Western Rise will be on the channel again. So go down to that link, use it if you wanna buy something, get 20 bucks off and uh, let them know that I sent you. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.